Hello, welcome to another ResPro video tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover the Yoast SEO plugin and how to disable the plugin uh, on your listing details page. So the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and get logged into your pages, pull up your listing details page because we're going to need this ID number that's located right here in your URL to put into the function file that we're going to modify here. Okay, so the very next step is, is to go ahead and if you haven't already, you will need to create a child theme. The child theme is going to be necessary because you're going to need to modify the function file within that theme. And if you don't put it into the child theme, then it will possibly be overwritten when the next time your theme updates. So always use a child theme for custom CSS and function file edits or any file edits for that matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the FTP, log into your themes, log into your child theme, and you should already have a functions.php file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this file and get it ready. And we're going to go ahead and copy and paste in the code that's in this uh, forums that we're also going to show you in this video. We get the code from a Google search. The Google search was for the phrase disable WordPress Yoast SEO on a single page. And as you can see here on Stack Overflow, here's the URL. This is the correct answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this code, also found in the forums, and we're going to put that into our function file, like that. Now the next step is we're going to need to change this page ID number. So we're going to go back to your page editor, get that page ID number, replace that, and before we hit save, I want to just go ahead and show you how you can confirm that the canonical URL problem on your listing details page is going to be resolved. Before we go ahead and save this, let's go ahead and open up a listing detail page. This is a project page we're working on. And we're going to go ahead and right click and view the page source. And as you can see right off the off the bat, at the very top of this uh, page source, we've got the canonical URL being inserted right here as listing details. So what we want to do is to find out if the canonical URL from our plugin is also in here. We're going to go ahead and copy that word. Control F on your keyboard. Paste that. And you're going to see that there are two results. So we have two results for the word canonical. And you can see our plugin is installing the proper URL structure. Now, what we have uh, also in here would be our uh, description and our um, keywords. And we'll go ahead and confirm those next. OK, so we have the default homes and homes, because there's no SEO settings have been set yet. But these are coming from our plugin. OK, so now that we've confirmed that the Yoast SEO settings are inserting their canonical URL, we're going to go ahead and save this file. And we're going to go ahead next, and we're going to refresh the page, right click and view the source code. And we're going to control F, and we're going to paste canonical in there. And as you can see, this time we only have one result. And it is the one result that we wanted, which is our listing plugin. Of course, I haven't done any SEO settings on this yet. Uh, when I get done, I will have all the dynamic keywords, titles, URLs, everything all structured. But the very first thing we want to do and confirm is that we have gotten rid of the Yoast injection into our listing details page. And that will definitely fix it if you modify your function file. I hope you appreciate the video. And if any more questions, uh, drop us a line below in the comments section or visit us in the forums. Thanks so much.